Hello, I'm João Rosa. And I'm José Marques. We study electrical and computer engineering at the University of Coimbra. And for the class of Project of Digital Systems, we decided to create Snake. No, not this Snake. Although that's a classy snake. That hat and that mustache. Damn, that snake's classy. It's this snake, the game Snake. A game that everyone has played at least once. So, to create our project, we used three things. First, the Altera DET FPGA. Second, the VGA connection. And finally, Terra 6 touchpad. The game is played using the FPGA and the touchpad. The touchpad is divided into six buttons, and we are going to discuss their functions throughout this demonstration. To start the game, simply press Enter. The arrows control the direction of the snake and follow the same arrangement as the keyboard. The player can also pause the game using this button. During the game, the FPGA can be used for two things. First, it can be used to keep track of the score. The second feature is that the player can increase the speed of the game using this switch. But how does it work? Well, we map the entire screen using 4 bits for each pixel, that means the following. The less significant bit means that the pixel is filled. The second least significant bit means that the pixel is part of the snake. The two most significant bits indicate the direction. With this, the head can detect if the pixel is part of the snake, food, or nothing at all using the two least significant bits. And the tail can keep track of the rest of the body by following the direction. This way, the head can detect the presence of other parts of the snake. And loose. We also compare the position of the head of the snake with the borders of the game. But how to keep track of the head and tail positions? That's simple. We use two pointers, one for the head and another for the tail. This way we can make the snake move around the screen without problems because the pointers keep being updated. The way we can keep the tail, head and VGA communicating is using the dual port RAM that allows the VGA to refresh while the two pointers read and write in the memory. Finally, if the player reaches the end of the game, he'll be able to see the victory screen up close. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video.